Hello, my fellow believers. It's Redemptor once again with another interesting video. As I told you on my previous videos, I am not a preacher, neither do I intend to be one in the future. On this channel, I do commentary videos commenting on different topics concerning Christianity and most importantly, the salvation by the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a channel where you get to hear what many preachers won't tell you the truth of the gospel. We are all ambassadors in Christ and our work is to share the truth of the gospel to the world and to the non-believers. According to the biblical nature of Jezebel, she was a daughter of a man called Ed Baal, who introduced the gods of Baal. Jezebel got married to Ahab, according to the biblical explanation. Jezebel persuaded her husband, Ahab, to introduce the worship of the Baal gods. According to my understanding of the story of Jezebel and Ahab in the Bible, shows two different kingdoms. Jezebel represents the kingdom of the pagan god of fertility called Baal, while Ahab represents the kingdom of God of the Israelites. This story shows us how, if given a chance, how the devil uh, can bring down the kingdom of God, which is impossible anyway. We have so many Ahabs around uh, today, and I want us to look at who are the Ahabs and who are the Jezebels in today's church. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying Babylon the great is fallen this is a prophetic word to the body of Christ is a prophetic word to the church it's not a word of condemnation it is the announcing of the new season because the jealousy of the bridegroom is drawing him closer watch this Babylon the great is fallen is fallen and is become the habitations of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean bird next verse for the nations watch this have drunk the wine of her fornication watch this it says the kings of the earth have done what committed fornication with her who is her Babylon and the merchants the rich men of the earth they was rich through the abundance of her delicacy that this is the source of the mysterious risings in spite of the fact that they disobey the laws of the kingdom there is a fraternity in the realm of the spirit that is greater than buying and selling next verse I heard another voice from heaven saying, South Africa, come out of her. Come out. Come out, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not her plagues. Five, for her sins have reached the heavens, and God had remembered her iniquities. Verse six. Let's go to verse eight. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly born with fire. For strong is the Lord who judged her. Nine. Verse nine. Now, the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning verse 10 seeing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city that mighty city how soon will it fall in one hour shadows in one hour next verse there's something I want to show you the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her for no man buy yet of her merchandise anymore a day will come the spirit of revival will stop men they will say no this can't be it 
I was watching Pastor Selman speak and I could feel God speak through him. Many have fallen prey to the traps of Jezebel. Jezebel has what it takes to woo the common man and a weak believer. Her traps have caught many and have been caged in trapping nets. Today, we are witnessing many preachers who are agents of Jezebel because of love of money and the worldly luxuries. Every man that God anoints, yeah. he has a mission. Oh, yeah. You bear that in mind, viewer. Right. Every man in that Bible or even that's the last apostle John closed his eyes. Yeah. Every man after that whom the Lord sends, God give him a mission and an assignment. That's right. He's just not up hosting services every week. No. Hosting. Huh? That's right. Just hosting services hosting. every week, making little podcasts, telecasts, and little back back guardians and all. No. That's right. He have a mission. That's right. That's right. It's a direct assignment given to him from God. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Then he sent out a second on horseback which came to them. And what? And said, Thus saith the king, Is it peace? Is it peace? And Jehu answered, What hast thou to do with peace? Turn thee behind me. Get behind me. And the watchman told, saying, He came even unto me and cometh not again. And the driving is like the driving of Jehu. Wait a minute. He recognized how Jehu drove that chariot. That's right. You know, there's some people in the neighborhood, I don't care how late it is, you know who it is coming up the street. That's true. That's true. You'd be like, oh my God, is Logan coming up the street again? <laughs> Why? Nobody drives like him. That's right. Three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. All he's doing is coming up the street. That's right. Wake everybody up. Amen. Jehu, he, they knew how he rode that chariot because he drove it furiously. furiously. Listen at this. And the driving is like the driving of Jehu, the it, son of like Nemshah. It's like the driving of Jehu, the son of Nemshah. For he driveth furiously. He, he worked them horses. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And Joram said. How the dust get kicked up. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Joram said, make ready, and his chariot was made ready. Yes. And Joram, king of Israel, and Ahaziah, king of Judah, went out, each in his chariot. And they went out against Jehu and met him in the portion of Naboth the Jezreelite. And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu, that he answered and said, Is it peace, Is Jehu? It everything all right, Jehu? And he answered, What peace? What peace? So long as the horns of thy mother Wait, wait, Jezebel. wait, 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 wait. Mm. That's right. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what he said? And it came to pass it when Joram saw Jehu. It came to pass when Joas saw, saw Jehu, Jehu. That he said, Is it peace, Jehu? Look at him. Coming all nice and whatnot. Jehu, is it peace? And he answered, and what Jehu peace? Jehu said, what peace? And he gave him a tongue lashing. So long. So long. As the horns of thy mother Jezebel. As your mother Jezebel act like a whore. And her witchcrafts and are so witchcraft many. And her witchcrafts are so many. Yeah. And Jehu come out there to hear that. No. No, no way. <laughs> no way. I think of the segment of the message in the gym that someone took. About man, maybe two or three minutes when I was talking about the way women look and how they appear, their appearance is like the appearance of whores and whatnot. Yeah. All in churches on choirs, half naked, yeah. with hot pants on behind, hanging all out, little pants, big body, That's big right. body up top, and a blouse about that big yeah. that's causing tension on the buttons. All for attention. That's right. Christian so-called singers yeah. with high spike, whore looking heels like heels. stilettos and fishnet stockings. That's yeah. Right. That's right. In the church, Pastor. And then when they took that message and it went viral. Yeah. Then seven, eight, nine, ten million. Yeah. And it's still traveling. Yeah. Made people wanted to know who was this crazy fella. Amen. And all I was doing was preaching for women to put, be modest. That's right. Love yourself. And stop thinking you got to look like the celebrities in Hollywood to be respected. That's right. Love the way God made you. Yeah. By the way, don't get me wrong. I am not saying that money is bad. But money can be evil when gotten the wrong way. The wrong sources and used for wrong purposes. Money kills. Money betrays. 
in money can also be so good when used and gotten the right way. This is what this businesswoman called Babylon sells. We are examining all her products. Look at what she sells. Ready? She sells gold. That's where Nebuchadnezzar got it from. She sells silver. She sells precious stones. She sells pearl, fine linen, purple, silk. All manner of ivory, most precious wood, brass, iron, marble. 13. Cinnamon. Orders. She sells anointing. She sells frankincense. She sells wine. She sells oil. She sells flour. Read with me now. And wheat, aha, uh -huh. and bees, South Africa, and sheep, and horses. What does she sell again? And chariots, and slaves, and she sells even souls. So if I want influence, I can come to her and say, Give me fame, and she will give you the souls of men, and men will flock after you. There is a system that is eating into our children, eating into structures. Satan's agenda is that one day there will rise a generation that can no longer call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible says, and Adam knew his wife and she bore Seth and men began again to call upon the name of the Lord. Listen, the heritage of Africa was built upon the blood of many who served God with their life. They were not as educated. They were not as enlightened. They did not even have depth of revelation like we do. But one thing they had was their allegiance unbending in life and in death. Nowadays, life has become how much your bank account is loaded, how heavy your wallet is, how big a car you drive. Nowadays, they are called machines, how big of a house you own, and many more. The list is endless. Thinking of all this, you will be tempted to do just anything for money, just to live a life of luxury. Why should one sell their lives to the devil for money? Can't one tr just trust God and work hard to earn money through legit ways? There is life after all the luxury, and it's upon us to make the right choices and decisions not to regret later. Don't be trapped by the traps of Jezebel. You don't need lipstick. Well, that goes for men too because they wearing it too. That's true. That's true. You That's ain't right. got to arch your eyebrows. Yeah. If your mustache is gray, just putting that old black pencil in it looking like Groucho March. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. If God make your mustache, why does this handkerchief? Thank God for it. Amen. Love the way God made you. That's right. Stop trying to hide them painted toenails in your shoes. God see past them shoes and stockings, you old hypocrite Jezebel. That's right. You're still like Jezebel. Still like her. Get that paint off your toes. If you're not like Jezebel, then get that whole look off. That's right. Well, I got my shoes on. Nobody can see it. You're a liar. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro in the order. That's right. Think that make your toes look cute? You look like a fool. That's a fool. That's right. Clown feet. What's <laughs> wrong with the way God made you? That's right. Rouge all on your face, 10 inches, eyelashes. Yeah. yeah. Look like paint brushes. Oh, yeah. I see our young girls walking the street and in the airports in my travel. Yeah. They look like they just got out of bed. That's true. That big car you are 
choir from Jezebel is your coffin tomorrow. That big house from Jezebel will be your tomb. And the gold and silver you got from Jezebel will haunt your, you for forever and ever. Choose Christ, work hard, and always pray for the grace of God to supply. I have never seen God fail his own. God remains faithful even to those who are not faithful to him. Always choose to believe and trust the Almighty God. Jezebel has nothing to offer. Thank you for your company and for your support. I don't take it for granted. I really appreciate you. If it is your first time coming across our channel, kindly consider subscribing. Press the notification bell so you will be notified once we upload a new video. Please remember to give our videos a thumbs up. I love you so much guys. Bye bye for now and see you on the next one. Shalom.